This is the latest with the homemade black powder development, and that's the wrong shit. Okay, so this is the latest development with the homemade black powder. This is made wet, then dried, and then remilled, and then compressed in a pucking dye, and that's how we make it. So, we'll give it a try here, see how it does. I forgot my powder measure, so I gotta do it the slow and effective way, but three of these should equal 20, uh, 75 grains. Use a 575 round ball and a patch, which does not fit very tight, but close enough for government work. Not that I work for those fuckers. Okay, here we go. We'll go for the target on the left. bit of a delay on that. I was a little disappointed, but that's okay. Right. You're, with it. you're little, just aiming little, at one of the boxes? No, the can up there. Oh, See it? the leftover. Yep. Up on uh, YouTube, there's some people that take the Swiss thing very seriously. Because I've said in a couple of my videos, it's like, yeah, I don't know, Swiss is okay. Well, Swiss is the best powder ever. Everybody knows about it, asshole. You know, I don't know what your problem is. And it's like, I, hey, I, I didn't say yeah. I didn't like it. I, I, yeah. I just said that it, for me and my my flintlocks, it doesn't make that big of a difference. Yeah. Like in Jim's Sharps? Oh, yeah. Things. Makes all the difference in the world. Oh, yeah. With the... the uh, stuff? Not really. Dropping block or whatever? Carbine. Like a 1863 yeah. sharp carbine. So left or right? We'll go for the right target. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. okay What's fun on that? That's right. We're shooting. We're shooting flintlock, man. I, accuracy doesn't exist. Remember? Yeah, you can't hit the fraud try to bump on with one of these things. Everybody knows it. God. I saw it on the History Channel. Five grain feels really good. Comparable to GoX. Still dirtier than Swiss. But as far as the power goes, right on par with GoX. Pretty much on par with Swiss as well. <laughs> 